If you hurt like a loved one of a cancer, oh, they're coming for you. They're going to it's come stuck. for you. Benito. All the signs I picked will, you know, their loyalty rides deep. deep. And it's not just you who could get it. If I hear about it, you can now get it. <laughs> they want to make a lesson out of you. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Especially water signs. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your girl Sarah. Emma. And we're trying to and dangerous. You know, because we be trying. And we be dangerous, especially when we seek in revenge. Yeah. <laughs> especially then. Especially because okay. truly there is something fulfilling. Well, you're hearing it from a Scorpio. There's something <laughs> fulfilling about finally getting the revenge. And not on some like, I'm actively seeking revenge on you, but like seeing how life did them. And you're like, mm, maybe I had something to do with that. <laughs> And maybe I didn't. Either way, karma is a bitch. I love how karma got your ass. Exactly. <laughs> like something about that feels really fulfilling to me. It really, really, really feels good. Yes. Like in a toxic way. Yeah. But oh I gosh. have made friends with my demons, mm -hmm. and my demons tell me revenge is sweet. Yes. <laughs> you know, my side reel Scorpio, Scorpio Stelly, Stelly yeah. comes out, and there are many times in my life and I am very proudly a Sagittarius stellium actually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but when I'm feeling a little funny <laughs> and that's when I feel your side reel comes out and the revenge and how I it be hit. instantly think you gon' get it it be hit. you gon' it be you gonna feel my wrath my thing is you could really be having or you as in me <laughs> Let me not even do that with the pronouns. <laughs> I should be having a really, really solid day. I'm feeling good. And someone will have me fucked up. And it could be someone I'm really tight with or someone that, you know, I have absolutely no relationship with outside of this one hour. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like when they do me dirty, like, and I feel like I've been done wrong, this part of me just lights up. That's like, goes in overdrive. you're gonna know why what you did right now was wrong. Uh -huh. And when life gets you, I want you, I want you, <laughs> I want you to know it was me. I will be it my was teacher. Me. <laughs> Cause yes. I'm sorry. There is, there is revenge, we're going on a whole spiel. Right. There is revenge when you're like, I don't want them to know, like life will handle it. No, I want you to know it was me. Yes. I want you to know. I ended you. But not enough where you take me to court. <laughs> <laughs> not with enough evidence. Right. But I just want you to know. Right. You know, you know. Right. <laughs> you know like, she's so petty. I am. And what you gonna do about it? And I would like to say that everybody we gonna talk about is a little petty, maybe. <laughs> exactly. It ain't uh -huh. just Scorpio. Let's get okay. into it. <laughs> I think we picked the first sign. We both picked the same first sign. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about cancer. Let's talk about cancer, baby. Cancer to <laughs> me is trying to take the most revenge seeking crown. Crown. Uh -huh. But you know, to me Scorpio holds that. I'm like, do they try? Because cancer wants to be seen and perceived as the baby that is soft, sweet, oh. and will never do it. Oh, 100 percent And to me, that's one of, that's why I actually think that they're the sneakiest revenge seeker. A sneaky link. A sneaky because revenge. they try to act all innocent, like oh, I would never do that. <laughs> but you were literally you literally just murdered that person. You literally just you know, like murder obviously is like extreme, but you get what I'm saying. Murders have happened. You know? In the history of time. They have. Cool. And I just feel like um when cancer, we joked about this, when cancer wants to direct that energy. It's actually not funny how mean they are. Yeah. It's just blunt. It's honest. It's aggressive. It's like, you're, I don't even know. It's below the belt. Yes. You know what I mean? That's, That's the thing. <laughs> like, some of the other signs we're talking about, they will, you know, seek their revenge and they will be there to see it. Mm -hmm. Cancer will be there looking down at you as you're on the floor bleeding out. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, no, we were talking about how, you know, uh, Scorpio, they don't want to necessarily catch the case. Cancer will be at the case. I did it! Yeah. <laughs> they will double down on it because they want people to know, like, this is why I did it. Like, you see it was heartfelt, do you not? 
You know, cancer doesn't forgive or forget. Truly. They don't. Mm -hmm. They are super sensitive to betrayal and will use their cardinal energy to lead any and all efforts yes. to destroy you and your yes. reputation. Yes. Um, cancer hates when other people like you when they don't like you. Like, it drives yeah. them insane. Like, so for some of the other signs, they don't care. Like, but cancer will sit there and be like, why the fuck is everyone like, fucking them? They're fucking annoying. No, like, you know what so I mean? True. Especially if cancer has Gemini in their chart. Ooh. They will talk to everyone about you and why they, you know, should just stab Caesar. You know what I mean? Like, you should all just stab Caesar. Petty. And it, it drives them insane. Yeah. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, Cancer is one of the most, if not the most, impulsive sign in the zodiac. Mm -hmm. um, chances in. are they've made <laughs> some enemies because of how ruthless that mouth is. Yes. And when people come back at them, they're like, oh, I'm gonna take revenge on you. How dare you tell me that I'm crazy when I'm crazy? You know what I mean? <laughs> Y'all. Okay, you know, a lot of people be saying that Sagittarius and Virgo be coming with that crazy mouth, but I'm gonna tell you. Cancer has said the meanest, nastiest foul shit to me I have ever heard. I have been a victim of Cancer's mouth. You know? As well. And I'm not and saying my feelings. My mouth ain't foul. But well, as, long as, as, that, as long as you don't say no, that. As long as you don't say that. No, I could never. I could never. Anyone who knows me knows. <laughs> you know. But also I need to say about cancers, I feel like they are they are obviously incredibly sensitive beings and when they feel attacked, disrespected, betrayed, because they're also very loyal beings, yeah. they will go on that defense and therefore attack mode onto you as well too. Truly. Another thing I like about Cancer's Revenge, you know, if you hurt like a loved one of a Cancer. Oh, they're coming for you. They're going to it's come stuck. for you. Bonito. All the signs I picked will, you know, their loyalty rides deep. deep. And it's not just you who could get it. If I hear about it, you can now get it. <laughs> they want to make a lesson out of you. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Especially water signs. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next sign that I picked is Gemini. And I feel like maybe the people are thinking, Gemini, why Gemini? Gemini is that mutable air and you don't care. Uh -uh. I'm a Gemini moon, and while I'm not talking about me, I know that Gemini has a lot of trickster energy in them. Mercury is the trickster of the zodiac. They enjoy the game. You know, think it's a game? It is. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the worst yes. because they're the ones that can really play it off the easiest. Oh, yeah. When they're like, it wasn't even that serious. I thought we were having fun. You, you know, know everyone I mean? was laughing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, that's the thing, that's the thing, when everyone's laughing with me at you, it is funny, you know, and it's just a game. But the person that it's happening to, they will go crazy thinking, how does not everyone see that this isn't funny and this is just cruel? Yeah. And you know, for, for Gemini, it is just a mental game play of, you know, beating you. And yeah. beating you and beating you, which is extremely <laughs> satisfying. And I think of... You know, Tupac is a Gemini, and I think of that lyric he has, which he says, I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Revenge is the sweetest joy next to getting pussy. You know what I mean? And like, Gemini loves that shit. They do. They love to they keep love it that light. Attack. But if they ever feel like you are now in a mental chess game with them, mm -hmm. they're playing to win. Oh, yeah. You know, if, if they see that there is, there is an essence here, there's a vibe here where it's like a one-up thing, for them, it's like playing Monopoly. Yeah. This is a long game, mm -hmm. and I'm a win. And the way Gemini does it, too, is, is kind of similar to Scorpio in the sense, like, it's a little sly, it's a little over your head. You don't yeah. always notice. Yeah, you don't. You know? You notice when other people are laughing at you, and you're like, oh, wait, are they laughing at me, or are they laughing with me? No, I, I felt a little hurt by that. Yeah. And that's how Gemini's. Yeah. get you and get that revenge. It's, it is such a mental, intellectual game, and they'll have everybody laughing at you, and you're like, wait, were they laughing with me or at me? At you, baby. <laughs> I love that you picked Gemini. They are the petty co-wings, baby. Petty. <laughs> petty baby. Okay. So many petty babies up in here. Who's your next petty baby? The next petty baby we gotta talk about is Taurus. Okay, obviously, oh. we know Taurus is crazy stubborn, they're very loyal, and to me, 
a Taurus can hold a grudge like no other. It's funny to me that their sign is a bull because yeah, it'd be getting aggressive, but it could also be an elephant because these, <laughs> they don't forget, okay? <laughs> they do not forget. They remember. They will be on their deathbed still hating you. Do you remember that story <laughs> of that elephant that found the person that like had killed? Yes! Like their mom or uh -huh. their kid or something and it found the person. And it killed them. Yeah. Because it remembered. And it came back at their funeral and killed them again. Uh-huh. I sure do. And that's me, Taurus energy. That is big, big Taurus energy. I love that you said they that do. elephant. Yes. Not forget. And don't ever get it twisted. Once you have pushed your Taurus to the edge, Push me they to the will edge. get super All my friends aggressive. Are <laughs> they get hecka aggressive and will physically try to force you into submission. I don't know if you know a lot of Tauruses, but th that earthly energy comes up and they get real physical. Like a fixed sign do. You know, back to your <laughs> elephant point. <laughs> I think it's so funny because we all look at elephants. Elephants are so sweet and they're so cute. But mm -hmm. elephants are gigantic and huge and yes. they could literally kill you Freak easily. Terror. And that to me is Taurus. Taurus mm -hmm. is so sweet, Venusian. Oh, they're so loyal. When Taurus is angry, literally, in a matter of seconds, they could end you. End you. And once they do that, they're back to being sweet because people will still view them as yes. like soft. Yeah. I, gosh, it's actually really scary how savage to me they can get because I see Taurus as such a ethereal. Gentle giant. Gentle, slow moving, yes. Being. And so when all of a sudden they're mad and they really are not messing with you anymore. Okay, listen, one of our favorite examples, do y'all watch The Housewives? Uh, Karen, Karen, hello. Especially if you up on it, wow. That last episode, wow. Dude, no. Cause if we're gonna take it there, Karen really out of nowhere got so angered. She did. And that's, what, that's the thing so with Taurus. They will find <laughs> one true. thing Harp on it. And like, they won't let it go. But mm -hmm. it's like, no, no, the conversation was something different, but if you're in a conversation with Taurus, they're definitely gonna lead that conversation when they're angry. 100%. And if they already don't like you, it's done. you're not, there's nothing you can say in the conversation to, to change their mind. Which is, yeah. again, also why, to me, they're one of the biggest revenge seeking, like, I'm a fuck you up signs, because when they are done, it doesn't matter what you say, how much you plead, it's over. Yeah, you know how people say, <laughs> oh, like, we just lost touch, or, you know what I mean? I don't know, we drifted. With Taurus, it's not like that. It's, mm -mm. it's very, very, very Attention. aggressive Attention. in terms of the way that you part lives with mm -mm. them. It's, it doesn't happen. You're not gonna break easily. They're not gonna let no, you go no, easily, no. and I'm not saying that they're gonna make you stick around if they don't fuck with you. I'm saying that when that separation happens, it's gonna be very aggressive, you know? Yes, and I wanna say one thing. It's not a clean cut. It's not, it's not. <laughs> I feel like, you know, Scorpio, they are, they take the crown for the most revenge seeking, and we gonna get into that in a second. But the way that Taurus doesn't forget and is not willing to evolve, they are the most toxic with it, in my opinion. You know, because when Scorpio falls in love, or they're like growing, they rebirth themselves. That is quite literally a Scorpio. Yeah. That ain't the same for a Taurus. Yeah, Taurus doesn't like to And that's the toxicity of that sister sign, fixed yeah. earth. They'll never forget and they will stay plotting on their deathbed. <laughs> I'ma get you! <laughs> or they will be that toxic of like ignoring it even though very mm. deeply, they they hate the way they were done by a certain person. Yeah, and, take and it they, out they don't they don't let it go. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. whereas for Scorpio, it's that like, all right, death. I need to. In order for me to let this shit go, I need to let it die. Yes, and I want Taurus to let things die a little bit more. They need to because people don't deserve that much of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As I'm saying, this is a Scorpio who <laughs> literally does not let shit go. I've done better. <laughs> she, we could do better. We could do Throw it. Better. Uh, 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 uh. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> do you want to start us off with Scorpio? No, Scorpio Queen. Okay. I think you should tell us. 
Before I start, I want you guys to know I really don't give a fuck. If people are like, this is petty, I don't care. Revenge feels very sweet to me. I'm not out here actively like plotting, scheming behind your building, like trying to make you fall. But to me, could it be. does feel nice. And if you <laughs> get me there, I could be. <laughs> But truly, dare I deem Scorpio the kings and queens of revenge. Like, as Maya said, that is what we're known for. So I'm just going to wear yes. it right. Yeah, wear that. You know, I, I will. And like, Scorpio hates an unbalanced power dynamic. Mm -hmm. You know, revenge is very much about getting even for Scorpio. Yeah. Scorpio isn't vengeful for no reason. Chances are they feel deeply about you or the situation. Mm -hmm. So deep that they've at some point lost sleep over it. You know, yeah. like when we lose sleep life. over something, whether it be, you know, someone that we know for a long time where it was a one time interaction, that's how we know like we've been done dirty. Mm -hmm. It's time to do something about this. Mm -hmm. Either at a time where they, <laughs> that we felt powerless or when we didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we always say Scorpio loves a long con. <laughs> we don't like to come up too soon. We don't like to. Yes. You know, we don't like when people know that we're coming for them. Mm -hmm. They have to be actually at their most comfortable. I think that's something very is very sweet about that. It Maybe is. Maybe I'm getting a little I, too deep I, into it. Is it sweet? It's a little crazy. It's a little it, scary. Yeah, but I, I like, like it. Because I feel like oh. I... So I, I hate that I keep saying I because it's <laughs> very like personal. Scorpio, I feel like, knows it will hit even more when people are comfortable and they think you're not coming. Mm -hmm. That it's over you've been forgiven, and usually at that moment in time is when it feels <laughs> the best. You know? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know? Well, that's the power of the Scorpio, though. They are actually so in tune and in control of their emotions at yeah. that time that they can say, hey, I'm so pissed and quite literally want to end you as a whole human, but I'm gonna wait until I can make this be the most effective, and you feel my wrath and hurt in the way that I felt the hurt. Yeah. In whatever way that may be. Like, Surely. I love Scorpios because they really see revenge as the most logical response. Like, I do. It's so it, it logical. It makes sense to me. <laughs> so much sense. And you know what I've actually thought about lately is that everyone that's not a Scorpio thinks Scorpio's sitting there. No, no, no. The universe presents the opportunity. I promise you guys. No, quite literally. I promise you, you guys. It just it. almost drops on our lap and we're like, oh my, I didn't even know that. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Truly, that's how it feels. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm thinking the universe, mother nature, whatever it may be, it knows that we've been done dirty. So it almost presents this way for all to be well in the world again when we become even. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the story writes itself in the most poetic way, and when it's done, everybody knows. Sometimes I think when Scorpios are just triggered, yeah, um, and they're not vibrating at their highest um, energy, yeah, frequency. they'll say, "Oh, this kind of reminds me of a little bit of what I felt," and yeah. you gonna get all of this energy. Oh yeah, no. and sometimes I have felt that from them, so that's what I was kind of speaking about. And I feel the full revenge when maybe you didn't take the full revenge on somebody else. Yeah. If that makes sense. No, that, you makes, know? that makes a lot of sense. And I think that can very much happen out in these streets. And mm -hmm. it's probably really scary for the person receiving it when they're not supposed to be receiving it at level 10. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not trying to make excuses. Sometimes Scorpio, maybe they're not around the person that initially made them feel that. So they mm -hmm. feel comfortable enough to take it on the person in front of them. Either way, that doesn't make it okay. You need to go find the person and give the revenge to the person that deserves it. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, either way, you triggered the Scorpio. You either know, way, like, I'm not trying to you be like, to get okay, a little mini lesson. A little lesson, but sometimes they be like, giving you the full lesson. Yeah. I'm like, dang. Yeah, no. Did I just it ain't right. All of that? No, you know. Not don't. all of it, yeah. but, you know, a little. No. Not all of it, for you sure. Know? I think you're right. And truly, for all of these signs at the end of the day, if they feel like you have triggered them, they will use the tools at their advantage to make you feel like you started this. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> not gonna finish it. Oh like, my god. Like, they love to get even. Oh my god. They gosh. all do. I think it fulfills them emotionally. And all of them will gaslight you into thinking that it was your fault even if it wasn't always your fault you know what i mean because i think actually for all of these signs some of them are getting energy from past relationships yeah. family members friendships i'm getting i'm not saying yeah. always but the 
energy that they yeah. come with. It's I like, would say wow. they're all very nostalgic, except Gemini. Gemini, again, it taps Just into that mercurial mm -hmm. trickster energy of it's fun for them. They really have fun. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, no, we have fun too. Cancer, <laughs> Cancer hits, hates that they have to do this. They hate <laughs> that you got them here. And Taurus is a little bit embarrassed of the fact that they got here, but again, they will finish the job because they're, they're very meticulous. Exactly. <laughs> and if they're talking to Scorpio, they'll be like, yeah, I did it. And this is how I did it. And I'm kind of proud that I did Truly. It. But that's the only sign that I feel that they really feel comfortable sharing that way. It's true, they do. That darkness. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I see that with Taurus energy, that y'all feel very comfortable with the Scorpio dark energy. Not it's always true. other people's dark energy. Yeah. But I like they that. Know, for you. They have no time for anyone else. Yeah. Life. And I love Which to see funny. a Taurus go ape shit on people. <laughs> I sit back, I'm like, yeah, doesn't that feel good? Oh, <laughs> yes. Can I say, it's some of the times I see you being your most true, genuine selves. I feel like a lot of the time, y'all are so uptight, and you know, you bite your tongue, and you're like, okay, whatever, whatever, and then when they go off, I'm like, oh, there's that energy. Yeah, truly. I don't know truly. if it's my sad, where I'm like, no. yes, energy, it but good. it feels good. I'm like, it does. oh, there it is, baby. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode on the most revengeful vengeance, avenge seeking signs. Okay, comment down below on who you think is the most honestly vengeful. vengeful. Okay, we want to know. Especially yeah, if it know. wasn't one of ours. Who have you been done wrong Who by? hurt you? Yeah, let, let us know. And if you're one of these signs, let us know who hurts you, which yes. made you activate that part Act of yourself. All of Outro we would song. love to hear it. We're gonna list our socials somewhere over here. Give us a follow. If you didn't know, we post every Monday and Thursday. Podcast goes live every Friday, unless we're taking a mental health break, which we happens need those. when we have a full time okay, job. Okay, take them too. Outside of this, so mm -hmm. we love y'all so so much. Have a beautiful new moon, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.